Miss Turner's class. You need help with homework? It's Miss Turner's class. I got you. It's Miss Turner's class. What about if you didn't understand something in class? It's Miss Turner's class. I got you. Guys, and welcome back to yet another video. In today's lesson, we're going to learn how to add and subtract multi-digit numbers. And we're going to be using a couple key terms in this video. The first is regroup and the second is algorithm. But what do they mean? Oh, you guys ask the best questions always. Regroup means to rearrange groups and place value to carry out an operation. And an algorithm is a procedure that can be used to solve a mathematical computation. We like to call an algorithm or refer to an algorithm as the old school way of doing math. So let's get right into our first problem. In this problem, we're subtracting 6,782 from 8,305. You guys, the first thing that we're gonna to need to do in order to solve this problem is line up our numbers based on their place value. You can do this one of two ways. You can line them up by knowing that, by starting with your ones, um, or you can also line them up using a place value chart. I'm just gonna start with my ones and make sure that my ones are in the same place value. And now I'm gonna fill in the rest of my number. Now that my numbers are lined up based on their place value, it's now time for me to subtract. Remember, when I subtract, I always start at my smallest place value. So I'm taking away, I'm subtracting five minus two. And we already know that the difference is three. Now moving on to my tens place, zero minus eight. Well, I know I can't take away eight from zero, so I'm going to need to regroup from my hundreds place, which means I'm going to need to borrow 100 from my three hundreds. If I borrow 100 from 300, that means I'm left with 200. And then I can move over my 100 to my 10s. Now I'm able to take away 10 minus 8. My difference is 2. Now I'm moving on to my 100s. 2 minus 7. I can't do it. There's more on the floor, which means I need to go next door and borrow 1,000 more. When I borrow 1,000 from 7,000, I'm sorry, 1,000 from 8,000, I'm left with 7,000. And I'm then able to regroup and add that 1,000 back to my hundreds place. Now I can take away 12 minus seven. What's my difference? That's right, my difference is five. And lastly, let's move on to my thousands place. Seven minus six. My difference is one. So 8,305 minus 6,782 is 1,523. Let's try another problem. In this problem, I have 3,632 plus 23,094. You guys will notice that I have more place values in my second number than I do in my first. This time, you guys, I'm going to need to make sure I line up my numbers according to their place value. So this time around, again, I'm gonna be starting with my ones and placing my two numbers that are in my ones place on top of each other. Now I'm able to fill in the rest of my first number, 3,632. And I'm gonna do the same thing for my second number. You'll notice that my last number, which is two, which is actually in the 10,000s place, does not have a pair or a partner, which is completely fine. As long as my numbers are lined up, I'm good to go. Now let's solve using the algorithm. I'm starting with my ones, two plus four. Three plus nine. It's 12, right. So the two stays on the floor and the one is going to go next door. I'm regrouping 12 to my next place value. One plus six plus zero. 
Good. Three plus three. Awesome. And two plus nothing. That's right. So 3,632 plus 23,094 is 26,726. Let's try another one. In this problem, it's similar to the, the second problem where I have more place values or more numbers on, in one number than I do in the other. Let's go ahead and line up our ones and then fill in the rest of our first number. Now let's do the same thing for our second number. Remember, it's okay that yet last number does not have a pair. As long as our numbers are lined up by their place value, we are good to go. Remember, we're subtracting. 3 minus 6. That's right. I can't take away 6 from 3. So what do I need to do? Absolutely. I'm going to regroup from my tens place. So I'm borrowing one ten from five tens, which means I have four tens left and I can give that ten over to my ones place or I can regroup back to my ones place. Now I have 13 ones minus six. That's right. I have seven ones left over. Now let's take away four minus six. That's right, I can't do that either. So what do I need to do? That's right, I need to regroup from my hundreds, which means I'm borrowing 100 from 400, which leaves me with three hundreds. And I can then give that 100 back to my tens, please making 14 tens. Now I can take away 14 minus six. Good job, eight. Now let's move on to our hundreds, three minus two. Yeah, easy peasy, one. And our thousands, three minus nine. That's right, I can't do that, so what do I need to do? Good, I'm borrowing from the 10,000s and I'm borrowing one 10,000 from 10,000, which leaves me with zero 10,000s. And I can give that one 10,000s to my thousands to make 13,000s. Now let's go ahead and take away 13 minus nine. Good job, four. So 13,453 minus 9,266 is 4,187. Let's try one more. This time you guys are going to solve. Go ahead and pause the video. Make sure you line up your numbers based on its place value. And once you have the answer, I want you to go ahead and type it in the chat below. Let's see if you guys can beat me. I'm lining up my ones, filling in my first number, followed by my second number, and I'm adding. What did you get when you added your ones? Four plus seven. Good job, me too. And I carried or I regrouped my tens or my one ten over to my tens place. What did you get when you added one plus three plus nine? Awesome, me too. Thirteen. Three stays on the floor, one goes next door. And what did you get in your hundreds place when you added one plus eight plus eight? Good job. I got the same thing, 17. Seven stays on the floor, one goes next door. And lastly, our thousands, please. What did you get? One plus six plus seven.
Awesome, me too, 14. Make sure you don't forget those commas. So 6,834 plus 7,897 is 14,731. Thanks you guys so much for watching this video on adding and subtracting multi-digit numbers. I really hope you enjoyed using an algorithm in order to solve multi-digit equations. Until next time, see you later.